Morning everyone. Dan from Mega Car World. We're uh, busy day today. We've got to pop across to Chester, Chesterway, somewhere like that. Um, we're gonna go. We've just bought and uh, we're gonna go and collect a 1957 Bond Mini Car Mark D. Total buy and find, owned by two priests uh, at different times. Uh, being parked up since 63, 64 I think. Real low mileage, apparently a real honest car. Um, so we've bought it off pictures basically, we've been offered it, so can't miss out on it. Jumped in the van now, just gonna go and pick my dad up, get the trailer, head straight off, and uh, hopefully the car will be right, and uh, pictures in the video to follow. See you soon. <laughs> Few vehicles on the right here, looks like they've been parked for a while. Is it on? What have we got? Post box. Vintage car, looks like Nostin 7 under there, a gypsy, gypsy caravan. caravan yeah. I think we're at the right place somehow. There's a little bun oh, mini car, I can see. Nice. There we go. That's what we've come for. Right, let's go and get wet. So this is it, the 1957 Bond Mark D. Uh, just got it on the trailer now. Really nice, hood's really good. It's been owned genuinely by two Vickers. It was found in a in a churchyard or something. Um, the guy who we got it off said two owners from you. Um, original buff log book, a new V5, really good patina car, definitely doesn't want restoring. Um, it's got the odd like ding and dent in the wing as you can see, but that's the best condition I think. Um, definitely never been restored, might have had paint at some point I suppose, um, but really, really nice. Came from a vicarage, as I say. You know, you can't really get a better story than that. Oh, sorry. Really good car. Absolutely love it. Really nice find. I think it was found in 2018 by the vicar in the vicarage, I think he said. And then um, done a bit to it and then just sort of got lost, really. Got found again. This guy bought it. He contacted us. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. So I'm going to get it back now to Microcar World probably be dark when we get back nothing you can see inside um, so we'll probably attack it tomorrow can't see it too well but all the side screens are there got the glass or perspex can't remember which one's in them sorry about the sun really nice car hopefully whoever buys it you know agrees and doesn't restores it and just does the uh, mechanical on it and stuff really really good absolutely brilliant We've got three bonds now two for sale the hard top one we're keeping that's the uh, press car the green car we've got so yeah let's get it back see what we can do
Brilliant. Hello, this is Graham here from Microcar World. We just thought we'd give you a quick tour of the vehicles we currently have in stock. Uh, a brief look at them so you have a rough idea what they are. Direct from France, this is a little 70s Mini Comtesse. 49cc automatic, one seater, very unstable but so much attention at the shows. The quirky, they have a standard door with plenty of room believe it or not. If you're six foot two, you can still fit in quite nicely. Two pedal control, press and go basically, and it's off. You've got your normal door, as I say, and then on this side, which you wouldn't expect, you've got a gull wing door. Access is quite easy. Uh, they're really simple to work on. And as I say, wherever you take them, they stand out. 49cc motor. And when you turn the steering, the motor turns as well. So really, it can go on full lock and just spin itself in a circle. They're the most basic cars you'll ever find, but they're the most fun as well. Top speed of about 30 mile an hour. Easy to work on. Uh, definitely a collector's item. In Mini Comtesse, again a 70s one. This one, actually we've had it running and it drives and it's French registered. We've got the card grease or the grey card logbook for it. All our French cars as well, we supply with the Nova certificate for British registration uh, and it proves that there's no duties to pay from the HMRC. It is directly from them. Great little cars again and this one it, it's often it, it will run and drive. The second one will be getting running as well. And at the moment they're offered as a pair for three thousand pound, but we will split them. Another great little micro car. Here's one for your British. Now, if you like your British cars, this is the old faithful Bond, a Bond Mark F. Uh, we think it's a sixty. It's got the full V5C logbook, the modern one. And it's also the motor's not in at the moment. You might notice it's sat a bit high. But the motor's just been rebuilt by Villiers Motors and we have all the receipts for it as well. It's lovely condition, full of patina. Uh, we just get it done mechanically, put everything back in, get it on the road and keep it as it is the bodywork. It's nice, but you could go the full hog and respray it all, but I like them like this. Nice little cars. Here's another little bond for you, back to British again. Uh, quite a rare one, it's the press release car that they lent to the motor magazines to try try them out and drive them. Uh, you can check by the reg number and go back to old motoring magazines, we've got them to prove. And it's in the logbook as well, the first one was Sharps Commercials. And we've checked it right through and it's typed in blue ink uh, in the Buff logbook and the Bond Club said that's definitely the one. So quite a rare thing, now the bubble top which we quite like, it's quite a pleasing design. Uh, not for sale at the moment, but we just thought we'd like to see it. It's, a, it's another piece of British history. This one here, another Bond. This is our latest find. We only got this the other day, uh, which was the start of our video, and you'll see us travelling down to get it. It's a 57 Bond Mark D convertible, owned by three owners from New. Uh, one was the original sales garage, and then they sold it to a vicar who bought it and ran it for a couple of years. He sold it to another vicar who ran it for a while and parked it up in the vicarage. It was found in 2018 and it's since had the motor done. It's been sort of tires, new tires on it, new brakes on it. It wants recommissioning and the man we've sold it to, unfortunately, it has gone straight away. Uh, he's keeping the bodywork as it is and just doing all the mechanics to run it as it should be. As you can see, it's a pretty little car. It's all there. It's, it's not got many dents or dunches. It's got the number on it, it's got the V5C logbook, everything's with it. It's a really nice car that will be proud at any show and get another lot of attention with it. Uh, one door on the near side. It's, as we've got it this, we've not touched it. The driver doesn't have the luxury of a door. We have the side screens for it. And as I say, it's new tyres, new brakes. It's a funny little car and very small if you look. It's a nice thing to be doing and we're looking forward to see it fully restored. Well, that's the last of our cars at the moment. We have got something very rare coming tomorrow, which we'll add next week on the video. But if you like this and you want to see more of our videos, 
please like it, subscribe it, and join us on Microcar World. Facebook page is in the, the description box below. Bye! Mm. <laughs>